that you walk in with confidence and pride and ready to learn. Today we're going to talk about the main character. children hello children how are you how are you i thank you for tuning in today thank you for tuning in today how are you how are you hello my beautiful children how are you today i feel fantastic and i am excited for a brand new school year to begin have you started school yet? How will you be attending school this year? Will you be doing face-to-face -face instruction or will you be learning remotely online? Well, whatever way that you're gonna be starting your school year or having your 2020 and 21 school year, I wish you the very best. I hope that you work to your highest potential and continue to tune in because we're still gonna have one read aloud and one Super Science Sunday every week. So I hope this is a good addition to your learning schedule. The story that we're gonna to read today is The King of Kindergarten. Are you going to kindergarten? Are you excited to attend kindergarten? Well, I am excited for you. And I hope that you walk in with confidence and pride and ready to learn. Today, we're gonna to talk about the main character. Just by looking at the cover of the story, who do you think the main character is? I think you may be right. This book is written, remember the author writes the book, and that's Derek Barnes, and it is illustrated by Vanessa Bradley Newton. So we are going to jump into the book. Oh, did you hear that? You know exactly what that means. Let's learn more about main characters. Thinking board, thinking board. Focus skill is the main character. The main character is the most important character in the story, who the story is mainly about. So, the story is called The King of Kindergarten. Are you ready to jump into the book? Stand up, put both of your feet together, and take a big leap. Are you ready? Five! Four, three, two, one. The morning sun blares through your window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use a royal brush to clean your royal chitlets. You'll wash your face with a cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in hand-picked garments from far-off villages of Ash and Kosh. But gosh, you'll be ready to reign. My baby is heading to school mommy will say during breakfast but you're not a baby could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way that you can i don't think so you're growing up so fast daddy will say and he'll be right i can't stay the same size forever can i you'll say one day i'll be taller than you daddy and you'll be my little man daddy will laugh but you won't be joking then a big yellow carriage would deliver you to your grand fortress. As you walk up the towering doors, you'll remember mommy saying, hold your head up high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile. For you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. 
When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say hi like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, and give them a cheerful hi, everybody. The truth is you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over classroom rules and you'll discuss important matters such as shapes and the alphabet and the never-ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trains, trucks, and tractors. Woo! It sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten. A piece of cake. You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Maria, do you want to play with me? Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling fire breathing dragon. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite chocolate pudding with an extra cup just in case. So you'll want to say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks and you won't mind at all because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? After a royal rest, you'll rise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. The day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things that you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends, my teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow, it will begin again. Another day as the charming, the wonderful, and the kind king of kindergarten. The end, end. When the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bomb, bomb, bubbly, bop, ba la 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 la. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like this story and you wanna read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. I hope you had a pleasant reading experience with me again. Miss Glam, don't remember, we have several stories archived here on the channel just for you. Yes, you! So when you have some spare time, make sure that you tune in to one of your favorite read alouds. It's always good to read a story at least three or four times. You may miss something that you didn't hear the first time. Without further ado, again, I wish you the very best school year. And remember, this book is not just for the kings. It is also for the queens. So if you are a king or queen going to kindergarten, or a king or queen going to first grade, so on and so forth, second grade or third grade, I wish you the very best school year. Without further ado, so long!